Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of cross applications and our new topic is RFC. So far we covered Papi, we covered IDOX. Now it's a turn for RFC and we all know these all are cross applications. It means with the help of these you can transfer data from non-SAP to SAP, SAP to non-SAP and SAP to SAP also. And now we will learn RFC. So what is the full form of RFC? RFC stands for Remote Function Call. We will go by the full form itself. It will help us to understand we will call a function remotely. We will call a function from the remote system. Or we can say we will call a function from the external system. Now external system or remote system can be SAP system. It can be non-SAP system because RFC is a cross application. Now, rather than using the word function, I will use the word function module because we are always, always creating function module. So with the help of RFC, you can call a function module from the external system or remote system and the external system can be non-SAP system or it can be SAP system. So if I will read the second line, the term itself is suggesting with the help of RFC, we can connect with the external system and external system can be non-SAP system. It can be SAP system. Now, before going for RFC, firstly, we will simply understand the function module. And then we will come on to RFC. Suppose if I will go for the system. This is our A4X system. I will talk in terms of system so that we can understand the topic remote. We can understand the word remote. Suppose in this system, I created this function module and name of the function module is ZFM underscore sales. Now, if I want to call this function module inside a program, in the same system, I created a program and we I called this function module inside the program. And you all know how you are calling a function module through the pattern button. And whenever we will call through pattern button, but the keyword is coming call function. So what we did so far, we have created a function module into this system. We are calling into the same system so that we can execute this function module. As of now, I'm not talking about remote at all. I'm just talking about normal function module we created a function module, we are calling or executing in the same system itself. So if I will read the theory up to this level, in SAP, call function is a integral part of a PAP language. Call function is a integral part of a PAP language because with the help of this only, we are calling the function module. So yes, with the help of call function, you are executing a function module in the same system. It means we created the function module in this system. We are executing the function module into the same to same system. Now up to this level, this is a normal, normal function module. We created a function module. 
we are executing in the same to same system now now we need to call this function module from the remote system or external system suppose i want that data whatever that data this function module is returning i want in the external system or remote system then how how with the help of rfc i can call this function module from the remote system or external system so if i will read the theory you will understand so call function means only in the same system but rfc whenever rfc will add with this a call function rfc is an extension of call function we will extend the call function in a distributed environment term itself is suggesting when you have the call function it means the scope is in the same system but whenever we will go for rfc it means we will extend this function module in a distributed environment it means this function module will be called from the different different system with the help of what rfc if you have only only call function it means the scope is dedicated to that system only but with the help of rfc we will extend this function module so that we can use in different different system the scope will be distributed and the last line will automatically make a sense now whatever the existing function module is there this is your existing function module into this particular system it can be executed from the remote system using a rfc yes if you have call function scope is in that particular system but yes with the help of rfc we can execute this function module from the remote system <laughs> now now we will move further and that is the important point from the interview perspective first important point from the interview perspective now people will ask yes you are saying rfc is an extension of call function with the help of rfc you can call a function module from the remote system then tell us what is the syntax what is the syntax we need to simply simply add the word destination after the call function statement now what is the syntax call function name of the function module destination is the keyword and name of the destination we'll firstly understand in the system then i will come on to the theory part just see suppose this is the system a4h in this system i created the function module i called this function module into same to same system now we need to call this from the remote system remote system or external system it can be sap system it can be non sap system so how i can call this function module from external system suppose i will go for another sap system just see this is s4 x system it is not a4 x system so how how i can call this function module this function module of a4 x system into s4 x system simple call function what is the name of function module zfm underscore sales now we need to use the keyword destination a4hclnt100 i put because in this particular system i have this function module i have this particular function module or you can understand in a way after destination you need to pass the name of the system 
in which you created the function module originally. We created the function module in A4X system. It means we need to pass the name of the system in which we have the function module is there. Suppose if I will go to SC37 transaction code, this function module is not in S4H client, S4H system. If I will go to SC37 transaction code, this function module is not in S4H system. We are calling this function module. We are calling the function module of A4X system into this particular system with the help of what? RFC. So if I will read the theory, you will get a simple understanding. We already cover RFC is an extension of call function. So many people will ask, what is the meaning of extension? Extension means you will simply, simply extend by using the word destination and name of that destination. You can understand source system in which you created the function module. So in this above system text, call function is a keyword. This is the name of the function module. Destination is a keyword. And this is the name of the system in which the function module is created. So if I will go for the summary up to this level, extremely important topic again as a part of cross application. RFC stands for remote function call. Word itself is saying we will call a function module remotely or we will call a function module from the external system or remote system. Firstly, we simply understand the concept of a function module. Whenever you are creating a function module and you are calling the function module in the same system, the keyword is call function. You are executing in the same system. But now we need to call this function module. We need to call this function module from the external system or remote system. Then who will help us? RFC will help us. With the help of RFC, we can execute this function module into the remote system or external system. Suppose simple example. If customer is saying, I want the sales order of A4X system into S4X system. Then how would can you? There is no need to create function module in S4X system. You can simply call the function module of A4X system into S4X system. But how you will call? With the help of RFC. So with the help of RFC, you can execute a function module from a remote system. And how, how you will call a function module in from the remote system using call function name of the function module destination is the keyword and you can pass the name of the destination or you can understand name of the SAP system in which your function module you created in which system you created the function module. So this is the important syntax which interviewer will ask yes if you have a function module how you call that function module from another system with using with the help of RFC. Simple answer is call function, call function, function module name, destination. And after that name of the source system or source SAP system in which the originally the function module is created. Now in the next video, we will go for more understanding of the RFC. And then we will start with a practical part. So that's it in this video. Thank you.